Okay, so now we will do the collimation height. It's a bit different from the rise and fall. It could be a bit more complicated. Um, but just follow what, I, what I'm doing and then you will be able to understand it. Okay. In this instance, we still have our backside or intermediate side and our fore side, but now we have a collimation height, a reduced height, corrections, and a final height. So there's no rise and fall, there's no plus and minus, there's nothing. So, okay. So this is what we need to do. So to find our first collimation height, we need to... We need to take our final height of 29.330 and we need to add our backside. Okay, so every time that we, let me maybe write it, every time that we need to calculate a collimation height, you take your final height and you add your backside. Okay, very important extremely important, okay? So when we add those two together, we get 31.302. Okay, now, we, now once we've established our collimation height, but before we go, before we continue, I forgot to do, um, check how many sets we have. Okay, so we have one set, two sets, three sets, four. Okay, so we have four sets. Okay, very important. Please keep note of that. So, yes. So we've established our first collimation height. So now what we need to do is you take your collimation height of 51.302. We say minus, min, we say minus the negative 2.379. We get a reduced height of 33.6. Seven eight. Okay. How I came to that answer is I took my collimation height of thirty one point three zero two minus my negative two point three seven six. I got my reduced height. Now we go back to our collimation height for our first set because we're not done with our first set. So we say thirty two point three zero two minus the two point four nine. We get a reduced height. Okay, we get a reduced height of 28.893. We just leave this here. 28.893. Okay, we're not done yet with our first set, so therefore we need to go back to our 31.302. We minus the 2.245. We get a reduced height of 29. Point nine. No, sorry, twenty nine point oh five seven. Okay, so now we're done with our first set. Now, in order to get our next collimation height, we need to take our reduced height of the first set, the last number of our reduced height of our first set, and we add the back side. Okay, so you say 29.057 plus your backside of your second set, 2.012, we get an answer of 31.069. Okay, so that's now the 31.069 is your collimation at your second set. So now we say 31.069 minus the so 1.163, we get an answer of 
29.906. Okay, we're going back to our collimation at 31.069. We minus the negative 3.237. We get an answer of 34.306. Okay. We go back to our 31.069. We minus our foresight of 2.816. We get an answer of 28.253. Okay, so now we're done with our second set. Now we're going to start our third set, but we need a collimation height. So therefore, we take our reduced height of our last, the reduced height of the last, um, the last number of the reduced height of your second set, adding your backside of the third set. So we say for 28.253 plus 2.177. We get an answer of 30.430. Now we do again 30.430 minus the 0.849. We get an answer of 29.581. Okay. Um, the exact same thing again. The 30.430 minus the negative 2.179. Get an answer of 32.608. Okay. Now we're done with our third set. So now we do the exact same like we did before. We take our 32.608. We're adding our backside of negative 2.029. We get an answer of 30.579. Okay. Over here, we take our 30.579 and we minus the 1.307. Get an answer of 29.272. Then we take our 30.5. 579 and we minus the 2.447, we get an answer of 28.132. Okay, so we calculated our column heights, we calculated our reduced heights. Now we will do checking. Remember, I told you guys the checkings are very important, it counts for marks um, as well. So this is my checking. So this is how I do my checkings as follows. We're only focusing on our collimation height values. Only focusing on those. Let me take this quickly. Okay, we're only focusing on those. So this is the first one, right? And why I say multiply three. When you're doing the checking, you don't take your backside into consideration. It's excluding your backsides, okay? It is only your intermediate sides and your four sides. So for the first set, remember we said this was your first set, and we don't take the backside into consideration. So there's one, two, three, and that's why there are three. We multiplied out, we get an answer there, okay? The second side, we said it's second set is 31.069. This is your second set over here. We said we don't take your back side in, into consideration. It is only one, two, three, and that's why the three is there. You multiply it out, you get your answer. Okay, for your third set is the 30.430. This over here is your third set. We don't take your backside into consideration. There's one, two. We multiply it by two and we get an answer over there. Okay. For your last collimation height, we get it's the 30.579. That is your set over there. We don't take your backside into consideration. One, two. And that's why it's multiplied by two. And, it, and when you multiply it out, you get an answer. When you add all of those up, okay, you get an answer of that, okay? Okay. Now, now you need to must now check if your collimation column is correct and if your reduced height 
column is correct, right? We already established the spot over here. Now we need to do another check just to, to make sure that we are on the right track, okay? So now, now we say we take, we add up our, there we go. Okay, so we just close those. Let me just erase that. Now um, we need to add let me just close this. There we go. Okay, now we need to add our intermediate sites. We add it all together. That's the answer you get. You add your full site. That's the answer you get. We add all the values of your reduced heights. That's the answer you get. If you add all of those together and you get this answer, and this answer correspond to this answer, then you are on the right track. All your calculations that you did thus far is all correct. Okay. We've established that. Let me close over here. So now, the thing that we need to um, calculate, now we need to calculate our corrections. We need to find values for our corrections. And in the previous um, exercise that we did with the rise and fall, I said you always take your final height answer and you minus your reduced height. So it's the 28.123. Minus the 28. There we go. That is the so we take the 28.123, we minus the 28.122, we give an on a negative on remember very important. A negative answer of 0 0.009. Okay. So therefore. In this column, it will be 0 0.009. Okay. So let's do um, this calculations over here. So remember, we said we have four sets. So that's why we say this. We say negative 0 0.009, we divide by four times by one for the first set. We get an answer of negative 0 0.002. We need to work in for the second set. We get negative 0 0.004. For the third set, 0. Point, negative 0 0.007. And for the fourth set, we get 0 0.009. Okay. And that's how we came to the answer of your of this one. So we said. Remember what our sets, this is our first set, that's our second set, that's our third set, and that's our fourth set. So we said nothing goes there. So for our first set, so this is where our first set ends. So obviously that must be negative. So the answer, we do negative, negative two, negative, here we go. Okay, so that is for our first set that we did here for this calculation. Our third, our second set ends here. Okay, and we see we did our calculation and it said it's negative 0 0.004, negative 0 0.004, negative 0.004. Okay, our third set ends here. And we're done with that one. We said it's negative point, I mean, negative 0 0.007, negative 0 0.007. And our last set, which is negative 0 0.009, so this one must also be 0, 0, because it's a part of the last set. Okay. 
now that we've calculated our corrections, all you have to do now is we take this answer of 33.678 and we minus 0 0.002 and you will get your final height. When you take 28.893 minus 0 0.002, you get your final height. 29.057 minus 0 0.002, you get an answer. So like I said, I'm not going to do your final height because that is very easy. Um, yeah, so if you guys still do not understand your rise and fall method and your collimation method, feel free to text it in the WhatsApp group and I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.